Hello and welcome to this tutorial about variable data in Illustrator. Today we're going to start with spreadsheet and end up with a result like this, without using any scripts or converters. So let's get started. The first thing we are going to do is to set up the main document. We are going to create some text and call it variables. We are going to copy and paste the text to three different boxes. My text alignment is set to the center because when I import my data, I will also want it to be uh, aligned in the center. The boxes must be separate because each box will be linked to its own data column. So for instance, variable one will be linked to the column named variable one in the spreadsheet, and variable two will be linked to variable two in the spreadsheet, and so on. Then we are going to place the image. Place the image on the position you want all your other images to be. In this tutorial we are working with JPEG, but it will also work with other popular image extensions like PNG. Next step is to link the text and the images to variables. To do so, uh, select Window and Variable. This will open up a new menu. Leave this menu open and click on the first text box. Then click on this little logo. This will make the text dynamic and Illustrator knows that this text will be imported from a column of the spreadsheet. Now we can repeat the step for variable 2 and 3 and as last we will make the image dynamic. Okay, so that's done. We've linked variable 1, 2 and 3 and the image. Let's have a look at the variable menu. As you can see variable 1, 2, 3 and 4 were made. The names of the variables are important for setting up the spreadsheet. The first row of the spreadsheet must be started with the names of the headers. So the first row will be variable 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, so let's move on by setting up the spreadsheet. Uh, the reason why I choose Google instead of Excel is that not all the versions of Excel will create a usable set of data. I made a video about the subject earlier and it seems that a lot of you guys get the message that the incoming variable library is invalid. So please use Google Spreadsheet to uh, avoid that problem. Okay, let's set up a new document. Uh, if you created a document in Excel, you can copy and paste it, that will be no problem. As told, row one must contain the names of the variable. So we start with variable one, variable two, three and four. The fourth variable, which is the image, must start with an add symbol because we're going to link it to a file on your computer. So when you use the add symbol, uh, Illustrator will know that it must look for a path on your computer. So just to be clear, this will be the text variables and this will be the image variable. I already set up a document with some text in it and for the image I will show you how to uh, link it to the path on your computer. I have set up some different countries in my document and we are going to link the country flags to the countries as JPEG. The country flags are saved in a folder on my computer. So in variable 4 column we are going to type in that location and the name of the JPEG. So this is the map where the images are in, and we're going to copy the path to this map. Uh, please note that there is one important thing. The path may not contain any blank spaces. So the map names and the file names uh, must not contain any blank spaces because else the import will not work. For instance, if your path name will look like this with blank spaces in it, it will not work. So we're now going to copy the path and we're going to paste it in the spreadsheet. We're also going to fill in the mm, file name of the JPEG. So we're going to add a slash and the file name of the JPEG. And we're going to repeat that for all the countries.
now that the document is complete we're going to download it to the computer so we can import it in uh, illustrator we're going to file download and select a csv file as you can see it created a csv file in the folder and this file uh, will be ready to import in illustrator so let's head over to illustrator and import the csv file So click on the horizontal stripes and select load variable library. Then choose the CSV file we just created. The import is complete now. When we head over to the variable menu and select data set, we can swap between the data sets. Here you see that some other flags have a different ratio and will fall off the artboard. When I added the size of one image, it will apply to all the other images. So the size of all the other images will be decreased as well. So there's no need to do it 20 times. Swapping through the data sets, you see all of our data is imported perfectly. So another reason why we chose spreadsheet instead of Excel is the importation of special characters. A lot of people seem to have problem with the importation of special characters when they use Excel. So I've done a few variables uh, with special characters in uh, Google Spreadsheet to show you that it will work. As you can see, the import is fine, even with the special characters. So no more frustrating errors about an invalid library. In this last step of the tutorial, we are going to save the created datasets. Start with selecting the action menu. This menu can be found on the window actions. Now we're going to click on the create a new action icon and name this action create PDF. And we're going to save our file as a PDF file. After saving the file is done, we're going to head back to the action menu and click on the stop icon. After that, we're going to click on the horizontal stripes and select batch. So the action we want to batch is the create the PDF. So we're going to select it. The source will be uh, the data set. So choose data set. After that, we're going to select override action save comments and choose the folder we want to save it in. Here we can select the file name that Illustrator will give to the export of the data sets. After you choose one, click OK and Illustrator will start to repeat the save as PDF action on all your created data sets. The files are saved now and we can head over to our export map and see if it worked. As you can see, all the PDF files are created. You can keep them as separate files or combine them using Acrobat Pro. Click on combine and all the PDF files will be merged into one file. So that is it for this tutorial about variable data in Illustrator. If you learned something today, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel to help me grow.